In this video, we are going to talk about vertical farming development, growth and 2021 trends. So before starting this video, please like this video, and subscribe to our channel for the future updates. Vertical farming is a type of indoor and outdoor farming where food and medicinal plants are grown. These farms were created with the aim of growing food in difficult conditions. Vertical farming's main goal is to optimize the amount of space per square meter. Artificial temperature, light, humidity, and other gases are used in a vertical farming system. The ever-increasing global population, combined with the ever-increasing demand for plants and other forms of vegetation. Vertical farming is becoming more common due to a rising demand for environmentally sustainable methods of producing vegetables and fruits. The growing demand for vertical farming will be aided by the concerns about organic food. Here's a list of the vertical farming development, growth and 2021 trends, let's start. Number 6. Market Overview. In 2021, the global vertical farming market is expected to develop at a CAGR of 5.4%. The vertical farming supply chain has been impacted by the COVID-19 outbreak. The global pandemic has had an impact on the smooth operation of different industries all over the world. The food service industry has plummeted due to the closing of restaurants, catering, and hospitality in most parts of the world. Companies, on the other hand, have begun to use the e-commerce site for consumer purchases. Increased consumer demand for organic goods, fueled by a higher standard of living and disposable income, has paved the way for the growth of vertical farming, where organic farming is widely practiced. Microgreens, which are a rich source of polyphenols, a class of antioxidants that helps to lower the risk of diseases including heart disease, Alzheimer's disease, diabetes, and some cancers, are among those grown using vertical farming techniques. As a result of the various health benefits, demand among health-conscious consumers in the region is rising, driving the market in the forecast period. The largest and fastest growing region is expected to be North America. Vertical farming is a technology that is both environmentally sustainable and profitable. Various governments and non-governmental organizations have promoted it because of its advantages in terms of food security. Number 5. Key Market Trends. Rapid Pace of Development of Precision Farming Technologies. Harvesting robots, automated seed planters, and greenhouse roof washers have all played a role in lowering operational costs and rising revenue in the vertical farming industry. Plant movement automation is becoming increasingly common. It entails unit tasks such as transplanting, seeding, packing, harvesting, and cleaning, all of which contribute to the growth of the vertical farming industry. The use of hydroponics in vertical farming allows for the long-term cultivation of a wide variety of crops. The growth of this segment in the global vertical farming market is being fueled by recent developments in the field of hydroponics, which cater to casual indoor growers while also simplifying technology and economics. The creation of customized lighting systems for research testing, which include top lighting, interlighting, and tissue culture, is propelling the global lighting device market forward. Under pink LED lights, these plants are grown in stacks of hydroponic trays. This technology is possible thanks to LED lighting's lower heat output and energy consumption. Companies like Samsung introduced a wide range of horticultural LEDs in April 2019, which produce a broad spectrum of light to promote healthy plant growth. North America dominates the market. The North American economy was dominated by the United States. Growing concerns about food security and nutrition are expected to provide the industry with a slew of new opportunities to thrive. The U.S. is expected to contribute a substantial amount to facilitating the environment for potential foods. The availability of freshly harvested vegetables through retail outlets is expected to increase in the country as customer preferences shift toward, fresh from farm to table, which is also the pioneer in adopting this concept. The emergence of urban population dwellings in cities like New York, Chicago, and Milwaukee has propelled the landscape for vertical farming with activities like revamping derailed abandoned factories, derelict homes, and high-rises, which has resulted in an increase in the development of fresh-grown foods overall. The vertical farming model has made inroads into the booming cannabis industry in recent years, where businesses are incorporating new revenue streams to boost profits. Modular Farms, based in Toronto, and Trulief, based in Nova Scotia, are major players in the Canadian vertical farm industry, with startups including Ecobane Gardens, 
which grew from 1,300 square feet in 2013 to 6,000 square feet in 2018, using the fresh herb mix model. Number 3. Competitive Landscape The market is highly fragmented, with major revenue-generating companies such as InFarm, AeroFarms, Signify Holdings, Philips, Illumitex, Inc., Everlight Electronics Co., Limited, Vertical Farm Systems, GreenSense Farms LLC, AgriLution, and Urban Crop Solutions, among others, controlling only a small portion of the market, while the rest is split among various players. Companies operating in the fast-growing vertical farming market are focusing on other strategic steps in order to gain a greater share and increase their acquired market size, rather than just product quality or product promotion. Many commercial growers are implementing high capital outlay innovations like advanced hydroponic systems and electronic traceability systems. Growers are also investing heavily in LEDs and other creative lighting products to reduce their exposure to related risks by closely tracking and investing in new technologies. Growers will be able to have year-round supplies as a result of partnerships and alliances, bolstering their market position. Newcomers to the indoor vertical farming industry will make money by selecting the most lucrative crops and employing the proper facility systems. Number 2. Global Vertical Farming Market Scope and Market Size The vertical farming market is divided into five segments based on growth mechanism, structure, type, crop type, application, and component. The growth of segments allows you to analyze niche pockets of growth and business approaches, as well as identify your key application areas and target market differences. The vertical farming market is divided into three categories based on growth mechanisms, hydroponics, aeroponics, and aquaponics. The hydroponics segment will lead the vertical farming market in 2021, as it is commonly used in vertical farming and involves growing plants in nutrient solutions that do not require soil. The vertical farming market is divided into two categories based on structure, shipping containers and buildings. In 2021, the vertical farming market will be dominated by the shipping container segment, which will grow a variety of vegetables such as leafy green vegetables, gourmet, mushrooms, and strawberries. The vertical farming market is divided into three types, biopesticides, biofertilizers, and biostimulants. The biopesticide segment is expected to dominate the vertical farming market in 2021, owing to the growing use of microbial pesticides that help control a wide range of pests, despite the fact that each active ingredient is relatively unique for its target pest. The vertical farming sector is divided into three types of crops, leafy greens, pollinated plants, and nutraceutical plants. Because of its widespread use for growing vegetables such as basil, cilantro, or chives, fruits, herbs, and medicinal plants, the leafy green segment will dominate the vertical farming market in 2021. The vertical farming market is divided into indoor and outdoor segments based on application. In 2021, the vertical farming market will be dominated by the indoor segment, as modern vertical farming concepts employ indoor farming techniques and controlled environment agriculture C, technology, which allows all environmental factors to be controlled. The vertical farming market is divided into lighting, hydroponic components, climate control, and sensors based on component. In 2021, the vertical farming market will be dominated by the lighting segment, which allows plants to grow at a faster pace. Number 1. Impact of COVID-19 on vertical farming market. COVID-19 has disrupted the entire LED lighting supply chain, from upstream chip manufacturing to packaging and lighting OEMs, for lighting solution providers to vertical farming farmers. However, it has varying effects on various supply chain organizations. LED wafer and chip manufacturers, on the one hand, are less affected by the pandemic because they still have a large inventory owing to an oversupply in 2019. Many chip manufacturers still have stock from last year that they can supply. On the other hand, if the work delay persists, materials needed for LED chips, such as sapphire substrate and others, could become scarce. Furthermore, the COVID-19 outbreak has highlighted the vulnerability of the global just-in-time food supply chain. The majority of countries in the world only produce a small portion of the food they eat. For example, the United Kingdom produces just about half of the food it consumes, making it vulnerable to global supply chain disruptions. Furthermore, the pandemic-related lockdowns and closures have created bottlenecks that have reverberated across the global food supply chain. 
What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.